Hello everyone and welcome back to another an amazing chess game from the chess history from 2002 from the Israeli chess championship. And in this chess game we have Emil Strowski and his opponent is Ilya Simirin. And in this chess game of course both are very strong chess players. Their feeder rating was around 2650. But especially there is an interesting information about Emil Strowski in the database. It says he was known for being a romantic chess player actually, a romantic attacker, a very aggressive chess player with the style of romantic chess in the modern era. So let's see what happened in this chess game. So Emil Strowski starts the game who is playing with the white pieces with e4, c5 by Ilya Simirin, the Sicilian defense, knight to c3, knight to c6, knight to f3, e5, and bishop to c4, d6, so black has strong grip on d4, developing the bishop, white castled, knight to f6, knight to g5, attacking on f7, castling, and f4. E takes on f4, bishop takes on f4, and kicking the knight back, developing the bishop, knight in, exchanging, and defending the knight, and also attacking the bishop, and we have knight to h4 by Emil Strowski. What a move. Well, in this position, also inviting g5, that's also a plan, a possibility for black. But in this position, pushing the b-pawn and the bishop is under attack. Also, black can push the pawn. So, it looks like this position has... Uh, this position looks pretty dangerous for white. It looks like white has some problems in this position. And maybe defending the bishop comes to mind. Retreating the bishop on g3 is a possibility, maybe defending the bishop, but if defending the bishop, maybe black can push the pawn, that is also a possibility. In this position, white says all or nothing. Moving forward, just like Adolf Henderson from the Romantic era of chess. Well, the sacrifice is accepted, but now, here comes the second bishop sacrifice, bishop takes on h6. Two bishops for two pawns. But white also has the attack. G takes on h6. If not accepting the sacrifice, then knight takes on e7. Queen takes on e7 and then bishop to g5. And white has a very good compensation in this position. So this is just one possibility. In this position we have g takes on h6, knight takes on h6. Defending the king, knight goes back and then capturing the pawn, so basically white sacrificed two bishops for two pawns plus the attack. Look at the king. It doesn't look very safe. White crack open the king side of black. Queen takes on d3, king goes back, so you can attack the king with the queen. Uh, rook over attacking the bishop, we have queen to b6, but now checking the king, blocking with the knight, and it looks like Black is defending right on time. Rook takes on e7, getting back one of the piece, but still white is a piece down. But in this position, white has the attack. Pushing the pawn check, but this check does nothing. And then capturing the pawn. Rook back, white can use the rook. This looks very dangerous. Rook to g8, and it is white to move. Let me give you a tip. In this position, white has force checkmate in six moves. Can you see the force checkmate? So let me give you a couple of seconds. Well, in this position, Emil Stovsky sacrificed the queen. What a shot. And after this incredible shot, black resigned. Let me show you the possible continuation. This was the art of the attack. King takes queen. And then rook check, king down, rook check, only move, check, this is the only move, checking the king with the knight. This is 
the only move once again and here comes Uruk to f3 check mate what a game what an incredible attacking chess game double bishop sacrifice for the for the brutal attack so uh, this was also a notable chess game uh, that i'd like to show you and in this position after bank queen takes on h7 black throwing the towel and don't forget that uh, white sacrificed everything look at this attack and bishop takes on h6 and actually breaking the pawn cover in front of the king was the idea and defending the king is not very easy and then here comes bank and black resigned and thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you next time with more chess games like this one so take care stay safe and bye bye